So Wednesday, April 29th, uh, 2020, we see Facebook release their earnings after the market closes for the first quarter. And it's honestly way better than I expected. They're honestly great. I'm recording this pretty much the day that the earnings release. And if we just, I'll put up a screenshot of Facebook's uh, stock price, what happened with it here today. And you can see that it's it's risen massively today due to these earnings and even after market or after the market's closed, you can see that it's risen massively. Now don't get me wrong, I still expected pretty good earnings from Facebook because I honestly think they're one of the greatest, if not the greatest company in the world uh, right now. But I guess due to this whole illness thing, I didn't think they would be as good as what they are right now. But in this video, we are going to look at their Q1 earnings report. We're going to do a full analysis of that and I'm going to highlight the important parts and we'll see how well they went because they did do very well. And we can kind of determine to see whether Facebook is still a buy or what's happening with the share price and whether I think it's still a buy or not. Um, so before we get into analyzing this guys, just please hit a like if you enjoy the video or you learn anything uh, throughout the video or you think anything's insightful, that would be great and it helps me out a lot. Also hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more of my content. Now, like I was saying, expecting all these numbers to be worse um, due to the whole global pandemic right now, but I wasn't expecting them to be the uh, most terrible numbers that we've ever seen um, due to, obviously, you know, everyone can still use Facebook and everyone can still use all of Facebook's platforms. Everyone's staying at home, so they're probably using it more than often, to be honest. But honestly, you, you guys probably know what the Facebook company is, right? Um, they own the Facebook social media app. They also own a few others. They actually own, obviously, the Messenger app as well. They own Instagram, if you didn't know. They own WhatsApp as well. And they do also own uh, the Oculus brand, which if any of you guys don't know, Oculus is like a, a virtual reality company. They, they own Oculus. Uh, and they are pretty much the number one player or a, a, a main player in the uh, virtual reality uh, area. If you think of a virtual reality company, you, you look, you're either thinking of HTC with their Vive or you're thinking Oculus. So, and obviously the main way that Facebook makes their money is through ads and ad revenue. Obviously, if you want to advertise anything on Facebook or advertise anything on Instagram, if you're a business, you have to pay money to do that. And that's where they actually get most of their I guess, revenue and how, how Facebook makes most of its money. And you would really think that, I guess, ad rates would be down and businesses wouldn't be spending much as, as much on advertising. I thought that as well. You would think Facebook's average revenue per user uh, would be a lot lower. Their ARPU numbers is what we call it, ARPU, average revenue per user. It's um, obviously with the amount of people that are on Facebook, it's the average amount of revenue uh, that they make per single person that uses the Facebook platform. But yeah, I'll, I'll put it up here now. We can see that the numbers are actually great. So you'd think those ARPU numbers uh, would be worse, but it's actually not the case. If we have a look at Q1 last year and Q1 now, we see a year over year increase um, from $6.42 uh, per user up now to $6.95. This is crazy. Facebook is still making uh, more money, it's still growing despite everything that's going on with the global pandemic right now. We can see in all specific regions as well um, that the money that Facebook's making uh, is all in is increasing in all different regions, especially USA, you can see quite a big increase there. Now this is crazy and I'm obviously happy to see this because uh, I'm a shareholder of Facebook um, and it's great to see that Facebook's own, uh, earning more money, which is absolutely ridiculous, especially during this time. And we can even see that in their net income numbers as well. I'll, I'll put those up. So with these numbers, we can see, again, a, a massive increase from Q1 last year to Q1 now. Uh, but keep in mind, I guess, this isn't all exactly how it looks because if you read that little dot point there, in Q1 last year, Facebook obviously had a massive legal expense and massive fines. Uh, that, that's eating away that number there as they got into a bit of trouble with privacy laws, if you guys remember. Oopsie. But at the end of the day, we can still see this is great. Facebook is still growing quite rapidly and quite massively, despite being what a now $500, $600 billion company, which is absolutely ridiculous that they're still putting out these kind of growth numbers. We have a look at their balance sheet as well. I'm not going to put anything up, but I know for a fact Facebook has just in cash and cash equivalents around about $60 billion uh, alone just sitting on their balance sheet. So 
in the in Facebook's bank account, if Facebook just had one bank account, they would have sixty billion dollars of cash just sitting in there, ready for them to do whatever they want to. And you can also see if you look at the balance sheet, they've got they've got hardly no debt at all. Like compared to their sixty billion in cash, they can just pay that off like it's nothing. It's this company is ridiculous. That's a reason why I think this uh, Facebook is probably one of the safest safest investments in the stock market, especially with the risk to reward. The reward on this stock in five, 10 years time, it's gotta be massive compared to the risk. There's, there's hardly no risk. This company's too big to fail. I have a look at a few other numbers here as well, such as I guess the daily active users of Facebook. And now these numbers that I'm about to put up, it's just for the Facebook platform alone. This doesn't take into account, you know, Instagram or WhatsApp or anything like that. that and we can see that the number of people using Facebook daily has actually increased year over year as well, quite massively. So we see with just the Facebook platform alone, we see an increase year over year from 1.56 billion to 1.73 billion. Like I said, this is just the Facebook platform alone and this is daily. Like the Facebook platform alone, I thought everyone that could get Facebook would have Facebook right now. Like, come on, even your grandma has Facebook. We can see if we look at um, the Facebook family uh, daily active users as well, it's pretty much a similar situation. These numbers are taking in, now taking into account um, there are other platforms like Instagram, uh, Facebook, Messenger, or, and WhatsApp, or, or those platforms. The amount of people that are using one of those per day. Um, we'll have a look at those now. You can see that this has increased massively as well from 2.1 billion uh, first quarter last year to 2.36 billion right now. This is insane. Facebook is massive. And, it, and it's still growing massively. It's absolutely ridiculous. So because of these numbers and because of this earnings report, Facebook is my favorite company in the stock market right now. And to be honest, I think it's it's the easiest money to be made in the stock market right now, in my opinion also. Now I'll bring up what my cost basis is uh, on this uh, on, on Facebook here now. Um, as at recording uh, right now, I have 10.26 shares. Uh, with an average, I've got in at an average price of $181.48. They're obviously sitting at $194.19. Right now, as, me, as of me recording this video, after they've announced everything, uh, and I'm honestly thinking of buying more because, in my opinion, Facebook is a steal with anything under $200. I'd obviously like to buy more lower than uh, my average price that I have right now, but I'm still thinking about... Uh, putting a lot more in at the current price that they are, to be honest. Like I said, I think Facebook's a massive steal right now. Easiest money to make in the stock market and the returns that we're going to get on this uh, is ridiculous because Facebook's just going to keep growing for years to come. So overall this quarter, great earnings for Facebook in my opinion. It's absolutely ridiculous that they can still keep growing like they are. We'll have to see next quarter's results uh, if this pandemic uh, keeps going how that's going to affect them. In my opinion, don't think it will affect Facebook too much. Obviously affect a few other companies that uh, won't be as fine. Facebook's obviously gonna be pretty fine because you know everyone can still use Facebook at the end of the day, um, even if there is a global pandemic happening. So I think obviously next quarter, a whole bunch of other companies' results are gonna be pretty bad. I think Facebook will be down a bit, but they're still gonna be very solid, I think. If, you sh if I think you should buy this stock or if I'm gonna buy this stock, like I said, I'm probably going to buy some more even if it still stays under two hundred dollars to be honest if i can get any under 200. Um, obviously that's my opinion i've had a look at this though always do your own research and determine whether you will want to buy a stock i'm thinking about buying more though so guys hope you enjoyed uh, this little analysis of facebook's earnings report if you did please like to show youtube that you like this kind of video uh, and also subscribe for more content I'll leave you guys there now with that and you have a good one.